guys, I Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install 5PD into your guys' 5M server for free. As of recently, the GTA 5 Police Mods website has gone down, so it means the only way to install 5PD is using this link right here, which is in their official Discord server. I'll leave a link to the actual download link and the Discord server down in the description below. Whenever you are installing 5PD and up until their new website is done, then make sure you're only installing it from this website because obviously some people can put some malicious files in but from this exact website everything is safe so what you guys are going to do is hit download all and wait for it to start downloading then once it's done downloading open it on up and go inside the 5pd folder and you should be able to see here there is a bunch of folders and files but we don't need to worry about that for now Literally all we're going to need to do is take this folder and put it into our 5M server. So to do so, open up your file explorer and find your 5M server directory. Now if you install it the same way I did, it's going to be on your SSD, FX server, and then TX data, and then CFX default. Go into resources, and this is where we're going to put our 5PD. Now you can put it in a 5PD subfolder. I usually just put 5PD in on a folder in its own under my resources then i'll make a subfolder for my plugins etc but for the plugins i'll show you guys how to install that in a separate video just showing you guys how to do that will come later on but i 100 recommend hopping in on 5pd first and learning how to play it first before you actually install any mods to it because sometimes some mods can go wrong but all you gotta do is delete them beforehand so just make sure you guys actually learn 5pd before you put any mods into it what you guys want to do is grab your 5pd folder and drag and drop it into your resources. From here, copy and paste the 5PD name, go back to CFX default, open up your server.cfg, go to where your permissions CFG is, and then you can put your ensure, and then space and control V your 5PD. Now for the sake, cause you have to start up a few 5PD mods if you do add them in, the sake of this i'm going to section off like we have in all the other videos and i'm going to call it 5pd if you guys didn't know whenever you have double hashtags in front of a word it basically makes it so your script will ignore it and you can just label things so you can organize it perfectly you can see that when you have your 5pd installed from default they already do it anyway but you just do it for the sake of keeping your server clean and if you do have admins in the future maybe your server becomes really successful and you need admins to manage it for you then they know what you've done in the past but hit save from here. Now, if you go into your resources folder and back into 5PD, it works pretty much the same as LSPDFR, the way it works if you guys have played that before. You can install your callouts, you put them in here. You guys can already see there's quite a few callouts already installed. And then for your computer, you can modify everything in here. And some of it does work off HTML and different scripts to what LSPDFR usually works off. And this is JSON files and SQL files, etc. You really don't need to worry about that. If you guys do want to configure the basic settings of 5PD, then you can do so just under the config file and you should be able to find all of these different configs for pretty much everything going in the game. If you do want to change key bindings, you can just do that in your 5M server anyway. You don't actually have to do anything in your config settings. They should give you the option in the GTA 5 menu. Once you guys installed 5PD and you have ensured it on your permissions.cfg, now all we're going to need to do is start up our server and we'll hop in game and I'll show you guys just briefly how to use it. So once you guys are in game, you should be able to see that like LSPDFR, all of the police stations are now highlighted on your map. So what you guys are going to want to do is hit F11 and that should open up your base duty menu for 5PD. You can then go on duty and then I recommend teleporting to a police station of your choice. I'm going to go to mission row because that's the police station everybody knows and loves. Once you guys are here, you can spawn in your loadouts here too. There's quite a few loadouts. You can have loadout one, two, or three. And then you can also refill your health and armor. Here you can spawn in your police vehicles. You can, can configure the police vehicles you have access to. Different ranks will have different access to different vehicles. So it's pretty self-explanatory and it just adds that layer of realism. And if you guys spawn in a vehicle, for example, we'll spawn in spawn in this once you guys have spawned it in if you guys hit b you guys should be able to see you can open up your police 
database. And I believe the default admin code is literally just admin. And you guys go. And you can create a new department. So we can call this department LSPD. And well, we'll call it Los Santos Police Department. And then you can also have a short name, so LAPD or LSPD, sorry. And you can have a department icon, which is literally just grabbing a URL off the internet and pasting it in. Same for the background and save for the computer wallpaper. And here you can set your max members. So we'll just do 100. And you can change your radius. You can use your current radius as the center of the department area. And you can set it to how far you want it to spread. So I'm just going to do I'm gonna do eight. And then this is your call sign format. So for letters, numbers, it tells you how to put it in. So if you wanted to have 2K23, you would do a number. So N. And then you would do a letter, K. And then you would do a number, a number. So 2K23. And then you can join it. And here you can search for any PEDs you pull over. It doesn't have to work with online players. It can be PEDs too. You can call for backup, etc. And you can also configure different ranks within your department. You guys can see here, you can change your call sign, promote and demote. And you can add ranks by literally just going to create ranks and naming them here. And the I believe the, the lower the priority or the higher it is, pretty, it's kind of reversed to how you would think it would be, is the higher up that your rank will be. And you can apply it to anyone you want as long as you guys are admin. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the channel sponsors that posting if you guys are looking for hosting a 5M server that is not on your PC. It's a great way of leaving your PC on overnight and running a full-fledged 5M roleplay server since you won't have to use your own PC. Check them out in the description below and use code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces for 20% off any of their servers, not just 5M. It could be Minecraft, it could be Gmod, literally anything, so check those out. Thank you guys very, very much for continued support. We got over 400 subscribers this month or last month in December. And we also got over 100,000 views. And we're actually almost already on 5K, which is crazy considering we hit 4K just a few weeks ago. So thank you guys very, very much for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.